Hello and welcome to this Autistic Selves video. Today we are going to be explaining how our system works. This is our Autistic Selves logo. The heart represents me. I am the host. I hold all the altars inside me. The circles inside the heart represent my personas. Each circle is the same size because all of my altars are equally important. We are a system of over 20 different selves or altars. Autistic selves is our collective name. Each self has their own name, age, personality, emotions, interests, memories and opinions. I integrated all of my altars when I was in my 30s. Being well enough to look after a family of our own was the main reason we chose to integrate all our altars. We didn't know it was possible to be DID and a good parent. In my 40s, my altars re-emerged. They had different names, but were the same altars. How did my altars get their names? They told me their names when they introduced themselves to me. How do so many people live together in one body? We take it in turns to front or be out in the world. We divide ourselves into different groups. Each group has a different role or function. The names of our groups are the socials, the vulnerables, the children, the responsibles and the strongs. The children or the littles hold playfulness, fun and raw emotion. They also have important skills and interests such as art, music and running. The children are developmental altars, so each altar remains the age they were when they first formed. And here is a timeline of the age at which each altar developed. The Vulnerables. The Vulnerables hold the truth. The Vulnerables are Julie, Freya and Claire. The Strongs. The Strongs are our strength. The Strongs include Angela and Tree. The Socials. The Socials interact with the world. The Socials include Dina and Kirsty or Crazy. The Responsibles. The Responsibles manage the world. The responsibles are Marianne, Winifred, Angel, Caroline, Amy, Georgina, Sarah, Robot and Fiona. Autistic selves as a whole is made up of five groups. The socials, the vulnerables, the children, the responsibles and the strongs. Together, my altars make up the whole that is me, but they are not me. When I was growing up, I didn't know I had personas and they didn't know about each other either. Sometimes I feel there are altars inside me that I haven't met yet. I don't know who they are. In the last few weeks, three new altars have emerged. One of our new altars is called Crazy. She is 13 and sometimes 14 years old. She likes to be silly and to have fun. And she enjoys playing tricks on people. Is it helpful to have altars? Having altars enables me to compartmentalise my life and makes it easier to manage. For example, when I have a situation I need help with, I can select the altar most equipped to help. In this example, I need an altar who has logical thinking, patience and resilience. Consciously utilising the most appropriate altar for a given situation is helpful. It is a positive aspect of having altars. So which altars produce the content for our Autistic Selves page? Producing our Autistic Selves content involves all of us. Producing our Autistic Selves content helps us all feel calm, fulfilled and regulated. Although all of us are involved, there are two teams. The Autistic Selves creative team that focuses on art and the Autistic Selves creative team that focuses on writing. The art creative team consists of Ariella, Fiona, Winifred and Naomi. On the writing team, we have Julie, Fiona, Naomi and Winifred. Making videos for our YouTube channel and producing posts for our Instagram account helps us understand ourselves and helps every altar feel valued and useful. Thank you to all our Instagram and YouTube followers and subscribers for supporting us and giving us a safe space to express ourselves. We hope you like our autistic sales video Please subscribe, share, like and comment. You can support Autistic Selves by sharing and subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can donate to us at ko-fi.com 
and you can also connect with us on LinkedIn or follow us on Instagram.